All right, what's good, YouTube? Sixth inning program just dropped and um, got some thoughts. So let's get into it. Well, first off, what are the missions? Daily missions, twins, innings, pitchers, eight innings pitched, a thousand reward XP, multiplayer, one starring pitcher, complete game. Uh, sounds kind of tough to do, especially, you know, I don't know, whatever. Multiplayer, goal, complete game. You guys can read these on your own, man. Exchange, it was exchanges, all the usual. You guys know the deal. Missions. Interesting point here. Extra innings is now a big focal point. They want you to grind extra innings. Extra innings dubs. Five games. Okay, there you go. Extra innings. Milestone moments. 20 innings pitched with milestone pitchers. That's, that's interesting. So use milestone pitchers and extra innings. MVP moves. Have a Ward Series player lineup. Guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to craft a, a team build of milestone pitchers and bullpen pitchers and a Ward Series players. And I'm going to use that in extra innings and get five wins. And along those lines, along the way to five wins, I will get these two done. That'll be the way I get experience there. The other ones, competitive dubs, 10 wins online modes, whether it be BR rank season or events, milestone moments. This is um, tally nine innings pitched with milestone series pitchers in online modes. So basically just play rank seasons for a game. You get 5K experience. That's an interesting one right there. Maybe Battle Royale too. MVP moves, score 12 runs with any award series player in online modes. That could be easy too. I have, I believe I have an award series player and I don't think I have one in BR. An event, that's, that'll be done in events in two seconds. I could do that too. I'll focus on grinding that tonight. Uh, there's a conquest map I'll show you right now. It looks really easy. It's a spiral, easy to do. You guys know what conquest is. What are the goals? You get headliners, bundles, set one through 22. You get shining metal, which is, I don't know what that's a stupid sound. Addies, oh, those are fire. Addy zero, afterburner eights, more headliners, five to show packs, and a kitchen sink one pack. So those are the packs you get for the conquest. Back in out all the way to the sixth inning program. Now let's get to the meat and potatoes of this program. Sixth inning, choose one player. These are the henchmen. Uh, Joachim Soria is the six series card, 105 hits per nine, 74 velocity, 99 break, all that, and a bag of chips. You got this card right here. I'm going to take this guy probably. Uh, six series, you know, he, He's not going to be great, but he's a six series card. There's Dexter Fowler, milestone card. I might actually take him. Um, you know what? Not the greatest card, but it's a milestone card. He reminds me of Billy Hamilton's early card, so it might be fun for some guys to use. Not a bad BR pick, actually. His fielding rating is really low, but he got the speed, so it's cool. And Gio Gonzalez, starting pitcher, prime card. Interesting choice. Uh, we'll be taking him, but those are the henchmen. Not exciting, but not too bad. Sixth inning classics. Lorenzo Kane, and will be the show 18 finest. If you're a Brewers fan, you're hyped. Very cool card. Patrick Corbin's 2019 postseason card. Nothing to write home about. Um, but he's a relief pitcher. Oh, okay. So he's a long relief pitcher. That's not bad at all. Could work with that. And Aaron Nola starting pitcher card. Um, there it is. You know, that's that's the uh, a classic. If, you, if you're a Phillies fan, you're, you're soup. Now, here we go. We're going to get to the bosses. Matt Kemp, the pick, in my opinion. Card is nuts. Um, really good versus righties. Pretty good versus righties, solid versus righties. Contact gets up there with parallel system, and he's a lefty, a destroyer. Vision and dis discipline have been lowered to make up for that overall 116 clutch. 86 fielder in center gets the diamond at parallel four. 76 reaction, which is honestly not that great. It's quite low. But he has speed, 87 speed, gets the 92 when parallel five gets 81 reaction. I think this card's more than fine for a center fielder. Um, I think he would do probably even better in left field, if you ask me. I'm going to be honest with you. I think he would do a little bit better there, but we'll try him in center. Uh, next up is Signature Series, Pedro Martinez. I'm not very happy with this card uh, for a couple of reasons. Look, I'm enjoying using Pedro. He'll make the all-time Mets team, but we're hoping for better. It's Pedro Martinez, one of the best pitchers of all time. If this is going to be the six series card you guys drop, drop a Cy Young Awards winner for his best season in 1999 because 102 hits per nine in almost September is really way too low. For an example, Walker Bueller's 96 overall monthly awards card that you can get in 15 minutes as a 111 with similar with 111 hits through nine with similar stats all the way through control is good it's great it's really really great but velocity is 92 it gets to 97 um and he's got 99 break which is awesome no cutter they opted for the no cutter one of his cards did have one his uh, all-star card had a cutter but he they gave him a slider and a sinker as his fourth pitch those are the control for his pitches and those are the break for his pitches if you're a red sox fan you're souped I'm excited for this card, man. I got to say, but I just, I think he could have been way better. I really do. I really, really do. And here's George Brett, who will be my second pick. I'll be getting this card. He is my second favorite card. Um, things to note. I wish he got better reaction or at least the diamond fielding. Didn't even get that. Gets the 89 at Super Fractor, which is fine. It's fine. 69 speed gets the 74, so he can move a little bit. Third base and first base are his pitches, or his place he could play. First base, secondary. Crushes righties. Gets over 100 power versus righties. 
But other than that, nothing really to write home about. It gets to 113, 86 versus lefties, which is fine. 125, 102 versus righties to, you know, make up for it. Uh, unfortunately, they stacked the vision um, and the clutch. So, in discipline, which we don't really care about. I wish it, it could have been a little bit better, too, in my opinion. But, you know what? Whatever, man. I think Matt Kemp's clear-cut easily the pick. I think he's infinitely better than the other cards. Um, and it's just, I don't think it's even close. Guys, an update they made today. They nerfed. Play now experience or just experience you can get in a day in general to prevent people from exploiting to get to the program bosses early. Essentially, you're allowed to get 35,000 XP a day from gameplay. From gameplay. So that doesn't affect conquest or missions. You can still do those to get the experience, but it's gameplay XP. So when you finish a game, that experience can only be up to 35k in a day. I like that change. I think they could have made it a little bit less strict, but it prevents people from grinding to get the bosses as soon as possible, which kind of made the program die out a little bit. Things to note at the end of the program, all-star game pack. Home run derby pack and a 90 plus live series. And thank God Aaron Judge is gone. So I don't pull his ass twice in a row again. Collections, I did it already. 50K for doing the for all the bosses from last program, which I got already. Their prices are skyrocketing. Um, and that's really it, guys. Those are my thoughts on this. Um, once again, I'll go over the bosses. Like I said, I just I love Georgie and he'll be my third baseman for a long time. But I just I think he could have been a little bit better. He's not really doesn't scream program boss to me, man. He doesn't. I, um, I, I don't know. Very interesting. Pedro, I, I'm justice for Pedro, man. 107 hits per nine is the high. I, I think it's it's just not that great. This is one of the best pitchers we've ever seen. And I, I don't know. I just don't. I just don't know. I don't know, man. I think they, they I don't know why. K per nine doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean a, a single thing. Lower that. It doesn't. That means it shrinks the outer, so it, it attacks vision for a hitter. It's supposed to mean you have less foul balls. It doesn't matter. Foul balls are a huge problem in the game right now, so I, I think they could have taken away from that. Swap them. Swap them. 115 hits per nine, 102 K per nine. I know that's not how they do it. They measure it by stats. I don't care. Man, it's about usability. I'm not about accuracy here. That's just telling you how it is, man. I keep it real with you guys. So Matt Kemp for me is the clear-cut pick, but like I said, guys, enjoy the cards. If you're a Pedro fan or if you want to take Pedro or Georgie, um, do it. Have fun. I wish you the best, man. I'm just telling you, from a competitive standpoint, or just from an overall analysis, Matt Kemp is the pick. Now, other things to note, other content drops, things you should keep in mind. The best card that was dropped today, in my opinion, a 98 signature series, Andrew Miller. Very insane card. Really, really great. Nuts. Nuts card. Does not have outlier. Doesn't need it. Control is really good for his primary two pitches, even the third. And the break is insane, especially on that sinker. Insane per nines. Gets to max when super fractor. Great control, too. Definitely the must-have card from this update. And now, going to... Go to uh, collections. We'll go to legends and flashbacks. We'll go to tops now. I'll show you the new Johns from today. 96 Cal Quantrill, who has a higher hits per nine than Pedro. Sinker slider, good control, all that stuff. Fun cards commemorating his 9Ks over seven scoreless innings and um, the Little League classic win. That's cool, cool. 96 Ahmed Rosario. This card is bananas, actually. Um, he plays everywhere. Going to make my all-time Mets team, no doubt. He crushes lefties, quite good versus righties. I think this card is super, super cool. So going to scoop this card up as Hitting Machine and Bomber. Two home run, two home run game. Oh, two run homers, cements Little League classic victory. Very cool. 96 Andrew Velasquez from the Yankees absolutely rake switch hitter with good contact good power and wow he's better than George Brett um kind of in a way yeah interesting okay gonna keep that in mind uh Rhett Reed Detmers I don't think I think he might be from the previous time uh what other cards there's some other ones to keep in mind here this one right here Jorge Polanco this card is actually bananas great swing great contact super good card definitely worth start if you like this guy um he's got a fantastic swing with these cards they nerf vision and discipline so they can make the overalls not too high but if you look at the numbers that count fielding speed contact power they all it all checks out this card rakes if you like polanco be our god definitely scoop that card up guys um and that's the that's the big content drop today guys i'm gonna go get started on the conquest i hope you guys do too i had a lot of fun with this program like i said my opinion is my opinion but don't take it too seriously overall enjoy the program get to grinding hope you guys enjoy the video enjoy the rest of your day thanks for watching guys i'm out